my very first chem lab. Emulsify my fragments with yours. We become puree. Our mixture is pliable and capable of smoothing any blemish. A false sense of durability like layers of plaster over diminishing foundations. A stern wind sends us a chattering and reduces us to shards. An upside down jigsaw with so many pieces whose interlocking combinations are infinite and impossible. We beset upon this futile quest with reckless abandon, punitive passions emblazon our cornea and deafen our cochlea. These inflictions only intensify our other detection receptors, emboldening our synapses with a strictly most hearty and foolish. In the face of self-imposed adversities, the chortling consumes us. Molehills spur and contort vertically and violently, titanic crags obstructing our paths and encumbering our better natures. Yet the giggling continues. Brave men will face death without question, but only those who have tasted oblivion jest at its expense. When you feast on everything and nothing, imagination and fear are savorless against your palate. Sorted, sentinels, mechanisms, blueprint, hedonism, and swill, completely fucked by design. We are the crusty plaque in the corner of each other's lips, the coke-like residue that accumulates from the burning depletion of our crude resolve. Exhaustion smogs our atmosphere and silts your dermis. The granulation makes you coarse. Kurt, you find friction in all things. There's no refuge for relief. Even afloat amongst the stellar island, the invasive abrasion intercepts your drift. Nothing is sacred. Nothing is truly yours. Your innermost thoughts scream from the windows of their cells. You've been divulged, and furthermore made completely bare. A sort of nudity where opinions can be made on the hue of your skeletal system. Stark and helpless, sprawled wide, revealing every tiny nook of your crevices, giving breath and larynx to your insecurities. A vivisection. The young men and women gather around the respiring corpse. Every defect will oust its cause. A foreign recollection of your story, quivering and flinching under the pressure of a razor-thin plane. Blankly they stare like bipedal bovines. Sweetness and sorrow is wasted on them. They only seek silence for the deaf and pornography for the blind. Now both have been provided.